Greetings, history enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the captivating stories of the past. Today, we embark on a journey to ancient Britain, exploring the remarkable Hadrian's Wall and its role in defending the Roman frontier. So grab your virtual passports, and let's dive into the intriguing world of history. Hadrian's Wall, an awe-inspiring structure that stretches across the rugged landscapes of northern England, stands as a testament to the might and ambition of the Roman Empire. Constructed under the orders of Emperor Hadrian in AD 122, this colossal barrier was a crucial defense line, shielding the Roman frontier in ancient Britain from potential threats from the north. Built over a span of six years, Hadrian's Wall spanned an impressive 73 miles from the east to the west coast. It was a true engineering marvel of its time. The wall, crafted using sturdy stone, stood around 20 feet high and 10 feet wide, a formidable obstacle for any would-be invader. The wall was not just a physical barrier, it symbolized Roman power and control, marking the northernmost edge of the mighty empire. Along its length, fortified mile castles and watchtowers stood as sentinels, housing Roman soldiers responsible for safeguarding the frontier. These dedicated men formed an intricate web of defense, ensuring the security of the Roman territories and maintaining order within the empire. Hadrian's Wall was more than a fortification, it also played a vital role in facilitating trade and communication between the Romans and local populations. Strategically placed gateways allowed controlled access, enabling the flow of goods and ideas while maintaining a vigilant eye on who entered and left the Roman-controlled territories. Although the Roman era has long passed, Hadrian's Wall continues to captivate the imaginations of modern-day adventurers. Today, as a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Wall draws countless visitors from around the world. It stands as a testament to the Roman Empire's enduring legacy in ancient Britain, offering us a glimpse into the past and an opportunity to walk in the footsteps of those who guarded this formidable frontier. Join us as we embark on this extraordinary journey unraveling the mysteries of Hadrian's Wall and immersing ourselves in the tales of ancient Britain. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell as we continue to explore the fascinating stories of history. Until then, stay curious, and let's keep discovering together. Hadrian's Wall is an iconic ancient monument located in northern England, constructed during the Roman era to defend the Roman frontier in ancient Britain. Spanning approximately 73 miles, 117 kilometers from the east to the west coast it remains one of the most significant and well-preserved roman structures in the united kingdom emperor hadrian ordered the construction of the wall in ad 122 and it took about six years to complete the purpose of the wall was to serve as a defensive fortification and to control the movement of people and goods between the northern frontier and the roman controlled territories to the south it marked the northernmost limit of the Roman Empire and acted as a symbol of Roman power and authority. The wall itself was an impressive engineering feat. It was built primarily using stone and measured around 10 feet, 3 meters, wide and 20 feet, 6 meters, high. It consisted of a stone base, known as the Foundation Trench, which was filled with rubble and topped with turf. At regular intervals along the wall, fortified mile castles were constructed, housing small garrisons of soldiers who were responsible for guarding and maintaining the wall. Between these mile castles, there were turrets that provided additional observation points. The wall was not merely a physical barrier, it also served as a statement of Roman control. It was a clear indicator of the empire's presence and influence in the region. The wall's construction demonstrated the Romans' determination to maintain their hold on Britannia and to protect their interests from potential threats originating from the north, such as the Picts and other tribes. Beyond its defensive capabilities, Hadrian's Wall also facilitated trade and communication between the Roman Empire and the local populations. Gateways, known as Mount Castle Gates, were strategically placed along the wall to allow controlled access. This allowed the Romans to regulate the movement of people and goods while still maintaining security. Over time, Hadrian's Wall underwent various modifications and repairs. It remained an active military and administrative frontier until the end of Roman rule in Britain around the early 5th century. After the Romans' departure, the wall gradually fell into disrepair, and its stones were reused for other construction purposes. 
Despite this, significant sections of the wall survived, particularly in the central portion between the modern-day cities of Newcastle and Carlisle. In recognition of its historical and cultural importance, Hadrian's Wall was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. Today, it attracts numerous visitors who come to explore its ruins, walk along its paths, and learn about its rich history. The wall stands as a testament to the ingenuity, military prowess, and enduring legacy of the Roman Empire in ancient Britain.